Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's football repack. This is a fun one. We got it six cards per case plus a high-end hobby box. Here's the whole list right there. I don't know what we've done already, but these are some nice boxes. So then it'll just run like, a, we'll open the box, it'll just run like a proper group break right there in addition to whatever individual cards you may get. So big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spot straight up. We only do two fillers for it. And all teams are in. Nice to meet you too, Alan. Thanks for hanging out with us. We love the football talk. All right, three into three, any kind of sports talk. Six times for all of the lists. Six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got Steve down to Chris after six. And then three into three, six the hard way for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Got the boys down to the Finns. Uh, my Raiders uh, just signed Michael Gallup, I think. Speaking of Cowboys, Steve with the boys. Jimmy, you got the Titans and the Rams. Peyton with the Bills. Adam with the Vikings. Uh, Mike with the Jaguars. Kevin with the Saints. Jimmy with the Bucks. Samuel with the Chiefs. Adam with the Falcons and Eagles, little bird team mojo. Jeff with the Chargers, Kevin with the Texans, Sam with the Commanders, Kevin with my Raiders, Steve with the Giants, Jeff with the Jets, Chris with the Ravens, Johnny with the Seahawks, Chad with the Broncos, Adam with the Patriots, last spot mojo, Michael with the Niners, Barry with the Cardinals, Mike with the Packers, Allen with the Browns, Steve with the Bears, Jeremy with the Lions, Jimmy with the Panthers, Chad with the Steelers, Michael H with the Colts, Jeff with the Bengals, and Chris with the Miami Dolphins. I'm going to sort by team. We're going to pause the video just for a little bit and I'll open up that trade window. Actually, before I do that, three and a three, six the hard way for the case number. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's going to be case four. At 12, 11, 10, 5, 7, 6, 4. So there is case four right there. All right, now we'll pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. There were uh, there was some trade chatter for sure, but no, no deals were done. All good, Monday, April 28th, 2024. This is break number five. Thanks everybody for uh, making this happen. Next case is in the store. And of course, you saw the randomizer before. We're doing case number four. So, let's pop this case open. And, okay, I see how we did it. Let's do the box first, and then we'll do the individual cards later. What do we got here? Nice, 2022 Prism Football. I'll take it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Empty case. Good luck, everybody. A little bit of post-draft football news trickling around here. Travis Kelsey signing a big deal here. $34.25 million contract. A couple years, I think. Ezekiel Elliott reuniting with the Cowboys on a one-year deal. Raiders signed ex-Cowboys Michael Gallup. Falcons exercise tight end Kyle Pitts' fifth-year option. 
Has to extend Barmore in a deal worth max $92 million. And Jarvis Landry looking to stay healthy. He's going to join the Jaguars. A lot of undrafted free agents being signed, and then there'll be some more cap space after opening up for teams in June, and I think that's going to be another wave of signings there. I know my Raiders want to sign like another cornerback. That would be nice. Some playoff basketball on in the background. Rex Jinx the Yankees. Actually, there's a there's a uh, there is a baseball betting sort of tenant. Some rule that says there is some good value in taking a team going against the team that scored a lot of runs the night before. There's David Montgomery, 20 out of 60 for the Bears. Steve H. And we've got a snakeskin, Geno Smith. Nice, that's a short print. And then we've got a Wandale Robinson, 29 out of 75. What do you think the odds would be that team loses their QB toward the end of the season and that team calls Brady? Very, very little. Very small odds. Like, this guy's done. I don't know why he keeps putting it out there that he's not going to do it. He's, he's also, there's also rules on, like, there's new recruits. There's also rules on, like, can owners be a player and he's, you know, angling to be a part owner of the Raiders, so that's not going to work. Then he'd have to, I don't know, divest into that ownership and then get back into it. Here's Aaron Jones, 008 out of 125 for the Packers. That's for Mike. And there's Nick Bonito, 32 out of 249. It's for Chad and Denver. The only way I could see that happening is if is the situation that happened to the Niners a couple of years ago. There's Maurice Jones Jude of 249 where they where they lost uh, Brock Purdy in the uh, the conference championship game, the NFC championship game, and it came out that and he wasn't going to be able to play the Super Bowl. So it, and I think the backup didn't really play well. So they said that they would have. Uh, the Niners said that if they did advance to the Super Bowl, nice J.K. Dobbins. If they do advance, did advance to the Super Bowl, that they would have. They had like Philip Rivers, I think, on call. There's J.K. Dobbins, Ravens, Chris Parent. So that's the only way I can see that happening, is if um, is if like a team lost their QB in the conference championship, but still ended up making it to uh, Juju's going to go to the Chiefs. That'll be for Samuel, and, and they're betting they had no backup or something like that. I mean, that's really the only way. Christian Watson. Rookie auto, nice. Packers. Mike with that one. So, I mean, I, I feel like people are going to bring that up every once in a while, every time a QB goes down this season, but, I mean, it's really just, it's a nothing burger. 59 out of 249. Return to New England? I think. I think the New England coach, I feel like I read something 
about him, he'd be welcomed back as possibly a coach. Not to play, but possibly a coach. That Pickens is going to go to Chad and the Steelers. And that Darren Waller's Raiders edition going to Kevin. Be interesting to see Russell Wilson on that Steelers team. Here's Travis Etienne Jr. to 149. Oh, you know what? If you click that break schedule, I have a head coach um, QB list that I've been keeping. I've got to update that with the new quarterbacks. We'll do that at some point when I have a little time today. Derek Henry on the Ravens should be interesting. That's to 99. Rex saying, not sure if you'd want your team to do what? You wouldn't want to have one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time coaching a young QB? What would the controversy be? Brady came in as a coach and helped us win the Super Bowl? I welcome that. All right. Not, not a bad prison box. Now, let's see what we have in these, uh, these packs here. Oh, 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 Brady actually playing. Yeah, that's not happening. I mean, that's not even worth... <laughs> So ridiculous. All right, first is Pat Tillman. Nice. From select, we've got sort of a speckle pattern here. I don't think there's, not numbered, but it's a field level. I think that might be one of the shorter, the shortest printed one. But I don't know. I mean, if that did happen, Barry with the Cardinals, you win a Super Bowl. Who cares? What, what, what would that controversy be? Brady came, played one game, and won a Super Bowl. I definitely want my team to do that. If I'm in the Super Bowl and you lose your quarterback in the cha conference championship game, and your backup is no good, and if Brady's willing to play one game in the Super Bowl, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Try to win. Here's Kenny Walker the third. And that pulsar design, which I think is is a cool design. Eight out of thirty. That's gonna be for Seattle. That'll be for Johnny. Brian, do you, can you check the break, what hobby box left in the repack? I have no idea. Jason did all the Jason did like five or six cases of this, so. So I really don't know. You'd have to watch it. You could watch like, just go back and watch the old videos really quick and you can kind of, you can see which ones we've done. But I don't know off the top of my head. This is the, this is the first one I've done of these. Oh, Raiders. Nice Derek Carr. Raiders. 15 out of 25. And that'll be for Kevin and the Raiders. Uh, you, can't, you can't touch a quarterback in the modern NFL anyway, Rex. He'd be fine for a game. Brady would be fine for a game. Flawless. Dual Relic, Tua and Tyreek to five. Who's got the Dolphins? That's going to be Chris with the Dolphins with the spot that he won in the filler. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice looking card. Let's see if the Dolphins... The Dolphins had a decent draft. They got a they got a retool. They got a battle back. They had a weird record last year. Uh, they did 
They took care of business against bad teams, but they did not win very much against uh, playoff caliber teams. Oh, got an upside down one right here. My Rex remembers Jason doing a contenders and an impeccable. Hey, we're just, his ears were burning. There's Tom Brady, 2021 Prism. Tom Brady, Red Ice, PSA 10. Buccaneers edition. That's going to go to Jimmy. Won that spot in the filler. Got randomized the Bucks. Wanted to trade them away too. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. All right, and the sixth and final one. Good luck, everybody. Another graded card. Another PSA slab. Good luck, everyone. These are a lot of fun. Let's run this back tonight. It's another quarterback, Joe Burrow from 2023 Prism Football. Red Wave, but a PSA 10. Sixty-three out of one forty-nine. Bengals. Jeff Brown, lifelong Bengals fan, is going to enjoy this one. It's with the spot that he won in the filler too, so got it for a fraction of the price, which is pretty nice. How much are these? This is, these are only sixty-five dollars a spot. You can win your way in for eleven dollars and fifty cents. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. There you go, gang. Another case in the store. You can win your way in. You can buy spots straight up. Get on board the Big Hit Express. Follow us at Jaspie's Breaks as well. I'm Joe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.